Hello, YouTube friends. Dr. Teresa Yilrich here with you again. Today I'm demonstrating a video where I am going to be doing a pouch evacuation. So I'm cleaning the materials I'm going to be using with some soap. I'm using a shallow cooking dish, which is wide enough for me to get my hands into, but not so deep that it's difficult to work in. And I have a measuring cup, not because I need to measure, just because it's convenient for collecting water and pouring. So you can see I'm rinsing both things with a little soap. I have a medical grade syringe that I purchased. I'm also cleaning it with some soap. It is made of glass and very thin at the point part. It was a little hard to see, but I also had a regular household bobby pin um, wax coated. So we'll see how um, I end up using these materials. Once I have everything cleaned up, I've laid them the, the procedure materials out on my kitchen table. And now I'm getting ready to collect water from the tank to perform the procedure. So basically, I'm just pouring in or grabbing water from the aquarium and filling it up to a level high enough where I'll be able to keep the seahorse submerged while I'm performing the procedure. So now I have to get Captain Jack off of his perch or his hitching post and sometimes just moving around their hitching post causes them to come off and I'm back in the kitchen now in my area where I'm going to work with him. So my first attempt is to try to use the syringe to do a pouch flush. And my understanding of a pouch flush is to try to get some fresh salt water into the pouch and then very gently put the water in there to flush out any bacteria or air or anything that's in the pouch that might be causing it to fill with air if there is anything of that nature in there. And that's usually recommended when a seahorse has been experiencing pouch emphysema or air in the pouch multiple times. Um, I am having difficulty getting that syringe in and um, I just gave up. So I'm, I've moved on to my bobby pin. I'm using the the blunt end of the bobby pin. You should never use anything sharp. No needles, no toothpicks. They should be smooth. And notice the motion that I'm using. I am not just trying to insert the bobby pin in. I'm moving it gently back and forth in an area just below what's called the anal fin. There's a little tiny fin on the front of the body and just below there is the opening of the pouch. I, not, I am not squeezing the pouch either. I'm gently massaging it with my fingers. Notice how still my seahorse is. I've actually performed a couple of pouch evacuations on him in the aquarium. But um, so he's used to me doing this and he knows what's going to happen. He's going to get relief. So he's, he's very content letting me just work on him. Now I do have someone helping me with the camera because I obviously need two hands to perform this. And one of the things I can see just looking back at this recording is that I'm probably having trouble getting in just because I'm coming in at the wrong angle. So I should be holding the seahorse in one direction and putting the bobby pin in gently on a 45 degree angle from the top of the head. So I'm a little closer there. Look how relaxed he is. And so I'm just gently manipulating, moving the bobby pin back and forth. And notice it's not happening very easily right away, even though I've done this a few times now. Um, it's, it's never easy. It doesn't get easier. You just have to find that correct place and be patient. Never try to jam it in. And you almost feel like, oh my goodness, I want to give up. I'm hurting him. But you know, he's so calm and relaxed. Oh, look at, you can see some bubbles just came out. And so that means I breached the entrance to the pouch. And so I'm gently going to massage that. I'm even taking a little break 
using my hand that had the bobby pin and giving it some more massages. And you can see more bubbles are going to come out. And you basically just keep massaging until you can't get any more bubbles out. I found when the process is just about finished, one little teeny tiny bubble will come out um, and that will be the last of it. So notice how calm and patient he is. I'm just going to give it a little bit more time. Um, again, I want to emphasize I'm probably coming in at an angle that's too much perpendicular. It should probably be more 45 degrees because when seahorses mate, the ovipositor tube that comes out of the female usually comes into the pouch into a 45 degree angle. So I'm thinking that's where the canal or the opening of the pouch is it kind of veers down from the opening down into the actual pouch which does make sense so i'm not getting any more bubbles out i'm feeling pretty good that his pouch is nice and empty so i'm going to stop the procedure and get ready to put him back in his aquarium so there he is he's swimming around right away and notice he's not having any trouble with his buoyancy at all And now a few hours later, he is eating, which is a wonderful sign. So to me, this was an ex uh, a successful um, evacuation, even though I did not have success trying to do the pouch flush, which is recommended over multiple episodes of pouch emphysema. The evacuation was a great success. I had actually been doing the evacu evacuations in the tank previously, and honestly, I'm disappointed in myself for not doing it this way in the past. Just because um, I feel like I got all the air out and may not have done so in the um, current uh, situation I was using. Well, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll like this video, write a comment, and please subscribe to my channel, How Fresh Pro, and I hope to see you at our next video.